What is up, tubers? This is Super L, and today I got another video for you. Now, I was thinking because I run my movie collection, my movie library across my home network using my router, which is a um, Nighthawk, a Netgear Nighthawk X10, which has a dedicated Plex server on it. Also, I run another server off of my Zadu Media Streaming Box. It runs Android um, 10, I think, either 9 or 10, I can't remember. But anyway, I was sitting here thinking like, hold up, you know, let me, let me, let me see how this runs on the Fire TV Stick family, all right? So this, uh, this will include the Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Stick 4K, the Cube, you know, the Fire TV Stick Lite. All of this because all you need is one application and it is called the Nova Video Player. And it's free. You don't have to buy no hardware or anything. So if you have any of these Fire Sticks or Fire TV Cubes sitting around and you're running your, your media, your uh, movie collection on your home network, you may want to add this to a television near you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do the demonstration. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. That's what I'm on right now. And I'm going to go and get my content. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is go all the way down here to the app and go to App Store. All right. So I'm going to go in there. And I should be greeted below. Uh, matter of fact, let me go to the app library. All right, so you want to go into the app library. Don't go to features or not like that. Just go to the app library, and you will be greeted with this application right here, Nova Video Player. I need you to install that on your Fire TV stick or any other compatible device, all right? But right now, we're talking about the Amazon streaming devices. Put it on there, and you come to this page where you say download. Download it. So it's not like you need another device to run Plex or anything. You don't have to go out and buy another Zadu box or nothing like that. You can just use this application and put it on your Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube, and you will be fine. Even you can use it on the Fire, um, the Amazon tablets. It does work on that as well, all right? So we're waiting for this to install. So we're going to open this bad boy up, okay? And we're going to skip that right quick. Let's go down here, open it up. Of course, you have to allow, all right? So the, na the name, the next thing you're supposed to do, not the name, but the next thing you do, since I'm running my movie library, my movie collection across my network um, via either... The, the Nighthawk X10, um, the Netgear Nighthawk X10 router, or I'm going to connect this to my Zadu, which has a dedicated server um, built inside of its um, software. All I have to do is go down here to network, and I'm going to get this one. It's called Big Boy. This is on my Zadu that has a dedicated server built inside, and it releases your movie collection on to your home network. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to go to share. And I'm going to click this file right here, the 7AB. So I'm going to go into that folder. And as you see it, it says Android Lost Dot um, DIR Movies TV Shows. I'm going to just go up here to this plus and I'm going to click it. And in the top right-hand corner, guys, let me make this larger, all right? Let me do this. In the top right-hand corner, right up under the time, you're going to see a list of all the content that is a part of um, my movie library collection, all right? And it's going to download everything to it. And before we even go for it, let me just back up. Let me back up so y'all won't say Dale already had it on here. All right, so let's go into the movie collection. You see it says no movies. Let's go into TV shows. You see it says no TV shows. All right, so we get that out the way. 
Now, again, go to Network and Files. I'm going to choose Network. And I'm going to go to the Big Boy Server. All right? That's what I'm going. I'm going to go to my Share. And I'm going to go to this folder right here. All right? Your folder going to say something different. This is the folder for me. I'm going to click on it. And I see I definitely have my movie collection and I have my TV show collection. All right? I have all of it. And I can click in here. And I can do it manually, each folder, you know, one at a time. And again, I can do it with my TV shows one at a time. But I'm not going to do that. Um, again, let me go into this folder. I'm going to go right up here to this top plus button. And again, look in that top right-hand corner. You're going to see how much content. And then how fast this um, Fire Stick actually load the content onto this device. Very, very nice. I'm going to click on this bad boy. And so when you look up there, it says 646 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it says 900. It started off at 968. All right. So we're going to give this bad boy some time. And it's going to put all of this content that is running across my network onto this Fire TV stick. And it's so amazing. And it's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Now, while it's doing that, I'm going to ask you, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might want to subscribe to this channel. Not only that, click that thumbs up. And when you click, um, when you subscribe, make sure you select all. That way you get all of my, all of my, um, um, all of my content that I place on YouTube, including, you know, videos and live. I also go live. Um, on Mondays and Fridays, and sometimes within in between the week, but I usually go live around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not only that, guys, and I am promoting myself, if you want to learn how to start your movie library, that's all you have to do is send me an email. And with that being, let me see if I can get this right here. You can send me an email or free cons not a free consultation. I'm 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 going beside myself. But you can send me an email at asksuperdaletv at gmail.com if you want to start your own media library, your own collection of movies. I get in touch with you. I send you an email back, and then you know we'll set up a time, usually on the weekend. Um, and you know, we'll go over the details of the pricing and everything. But once you do that. Guys, you'll be able to use an app just like Nova or other applications, and you'll be able to get, you know, your content that you want. You don't have to worry about Cody. You don't have to worry about these third-party applications such as B, none of that. And so I'm down to, what, 600 and, what, 30? And you see it's just rotating, 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 and it's gone. I could pause it you know, and then go from there. But let me do this, all right? Let me do this. I'm going to go into, a, like, the movie folder. And you're going to start seeing some of these this data just starting to pull up, all right? And as you see, it's collecting all the data so you can get the movies on here. And one thing I can say, it's running pretty, pretty fast on the Fire Stick or K Max. Is running very, very fast, which is two gigs of RAM, eight gigs of internal storage. The thing about it, I like to start my own movie library, my own movie library using this application because I'm telling you, it's so much better when you build your own library. You don't have to worry about no links. You don't have to do none of that. All right, so we're down to the force, and you see all the information is starting to come in. All right, we'll keep you. You'll see the metadata just starting to collect. If you follow these steps, guys, you will be successful. Really, if you have a, 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 a movie library or a movie collection, it's so easy to put it on your network. All right, it's very, very easy. You can YouTube it. A lot of people actually have their library running off their router. They just have to go into the settings and turn on a share and then plug your, your external hard drive or your NAS, um, and then the rest is history. Or you can do like I did and get a box like Zadoo 
and plug it into the Zadu box and tell it to share. I got videos on that as well. But here it is. Very, very fast, guys. This is very, very fast, the way these movies are adding up. All right? It says we're down to 50. 50 left. 50 left. That is very, very fast. And usually if you see a duplicate with mines, that means one is like 1080 and the other one is 4K. All right? That's just how it is. But this is very, very nice. It is done that quick. Again, I am using the Amazon Fire TV Stick um, 4K Max. And you just saw how fast it went. So when I go into my 4K Marvel, look at this. Everything looks beautiful. And again, if you see a duplicate, it's usually because um, I, I, just, I have one in 1080 and the other one in 4K. One thing about this application, if I click on here, and I need that movie art and it's not showing. One thing Nova Media Player actually teaches you, you can go into that category that says get info. And I see this movie was done in 1978. And again, I'm just go over there. Let me do this. I'm just use the remote control. I'm go up. And then I'm going to delete this. I'm just have Superman 1. All right, and then I could just go to next and I got all the movie covers here and here it is right here. So now I have a movie cover. All right. So when I go out, look at that. I'm going to go to Superman 2. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Go to get info. And let me go up here and clean it up. Go down here to delete. And just delete it one by one. And take it all the way down to Superman 2. All right. And then I'm hit next. And here it is. It, it goes out there and get it. Now, you can use either one of these covers. They don't use Superman 3, but because this is Superman 2. And so you can use either one of these. It, it'll work. You know, I'm going to just go with this one. And there it is. Nova Video Player is so freaking nice man i mean it's very very nice and that's all i have to do is hit play and not only that if you want to see a trailer you can go down here and get the trailer also if you want to change the poster like this one i got it where he looked like he going to the building and that way i could just change it right there and it tells you the poster has been changed and when you go up it's changed not only that you could change the backdrop all right you may want the backdrop to look like he, I'm, I like this one. No, I'm going to just say this one, all right? And you will see that it changed. So as you come in, you see that, man, this application is so nice. And if you have any type of movies running on your network, you might want to consider getting a Fire TV Stick 4K or 4K Max or the Cube. And if you got a 1,000 films you know, maybe even 2,000. You see how quick it took to actually add this content um, um, to the fire stick, all right? And then you can just go down here and go to the outside, guys. And now you out here. You can go up to the movie category, and you can say all movies, and here it is right here. It looks so beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'm telling you. Man, take your skills to another level. And when you go to TV shows, you can just go select TV shows and then all TV shows and you will see it. So when I click in the Bel Air, it gives me episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. It gives you all of that information right then and there, guys. But now, again, for people who have been following me, you know, uh, you can go down to animation. So if you got some animation, look at that for the kitties. That is great as well. And then, last but not least, guys, you can go all the way down. And if you want yours to look very, very similar, very, very similar to Netflix, that's all you have to do is go up here, and then you can select movies, and you'll get everything over here if you want to use this, this feature right here. It's very, very nice. And then you can go over here to TV show. And it does the same thing, so 61st Street, and you can get all of this information right here. Very, very nice, guys. 
very, very, very nice. So, guys, if you got a fire stick sitting around and you're thinking you're about to go and buy another device, uh, this work on the light as well. Probably not as fast, but it will work. Um, but if you have a fire stick laying around or when the fire sticks go on sale, grab you one. Grab you one, plug it into your television, and if you run your movie collection on your home network, meaning you got a Nas, you got an external drive, and somehow you can actually push it out into your home network, I'm telling you, this is a device you can use. Again, smack the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. This one right here is very, very, very nice. If you have any questions, guys, just hit me up in the comment area, and we'll go from there. And again, if you want consultation, guys, the email is right there. You can get it. Just email me, and I will teach you how to get your content, and we'll go from there. But other than that, guys, I appreciate it. Big salute to y'all. This is Super Dale, and I'm signing out, guys. I'm out. Peace.